Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. To the best of my knowledge, every shotgun built to date has had a circular or approximately circular bore, which then produces a circular pattern when shot is fired from the shotgun. However, a circular pattern is not necessarily the optimal pattern geometry for most of the applications to which shotguns are put. You know, if you're shooting at a game bird that's flying in a linear, approximately horizontal trajectory, uh, you'd probably rather have a shot pattern that is more dispersed in the horizontal direction, giving you a better chance of hitting the bird, uh, while being more condensed in the vertical orientation, you know, perpendicular to the bird's trajectory. So today, I intend to build at least a crude prototype of what I believe to be the world's first oval choke shotgun barrel. I started by machining a threaded insert that would fit the threads on the Jefferson receiver. To this I welded a section of the appropriate size of pipe to give me a somewhat malleable 12 gauge shotgun barrel. I reamed the chamber end of the barrel to accept standard 12 gauge ammunition. Then I cold forged approximately the front half of the barrel, tapering it down to a flattened oval at the muzzle. As usual, I proof tested the barrel remotely using an extra hot load. All right, well, our slightly flattened 12-gauge barrel passed the proof test with flying colors, so let's load it up with some bird shot and take a few shots at a snow-covered berm and see how it patterns. That one was hard to tell. Maybe we're too close. Well, it looks to me like the shot is spreading out horizontally exactly the way it's supposed to. Uh, I guess just for comparison, let's try a shot with the gun in a perpendicular orientation and see if we get more of a vertical spread. Well, it looks to me like it actually works. You know, who would have thought that Taking a sledgehammer to the end of a shotgun barrel and flattening it out into a long oval might actually improve its patterning. But in this case, I think it did. Uh, so I'm really pleased with how this turned out, and I think this is a phenomenon that probably bears further investigation. Uh, anyhow, until next time, thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.